Good morning everybody and welcome back to another vlog, day 13 of Vlogtober. And it's a big day today. It is early, very early, it looks early and cold. Yeah, as I mentioned in previous vlogs and sort of been hyping up all this week, today is the day. I've had a lot of you asking me why I'm doing this and who I'm running with. Um, and I'm running with this brand here, Runner. That's the app that I've been using to prep for today. According to this now, breakfast is from seven, six to seven a.m. and then seven a.m. we travel to the race village. I feel like race village makes it sound really like calming. Um, had good sleep, woke up at about like half three. Um, sort of excited to hydrate as well. Apparently you gotta keep hydrating yourself, but I don't wanna hydrate too much, but I end up weaning myself. But I'm gonna pack all my stuff up now, get down there, meet everybody else, because obviously yesterday I missed out on like the group meal um, because I got here uh, later. I dumped some of my stuff in the car, like all the gifts and stuff that I got yesterday. I need to get my shoes on. The runner got in contact with me and we're like, Joe, you look fast. You look really fast. Um, what can we do to, to get you to run a half marathon with us? I said, not a lot. I said, just get me a bar of chocolate and I'm in. And they did, and I'm here. Um, no, but I, I use their app to track my runs you sort of type in what race you're doing. You can actually join a community around that run, speak to other people that are also doing the race. Uh, but also, let's say for example, I picked the Oxford half, which I did. Um, you can pick how many days a week you wanna run. Um, you can pick uh, on what days you wanna run as well. And it will put together a plan for you to get you doing different types of runs to improve your distance, speed, and all that kind of thing, your times. Um, and it puts into a plan for you where you can then go through and it tracks everything and gets you, gets you race ready. But I'll speak more about it um, when I get there uh, or after the race as well. It's predicted me to finish it sort of just before two hours. Um, so I wanna see how close I get to that, if that does happen. <laughs> We've arrived. The scooters have beaten us to it. Oh my God, it's like a, fest it's like a full on festival. I did not think it would be like this. Here we go. It looks like it's going to be a good day. Big hand the arms, give yourselves a nice big round of applause. Have a fantastic time out there on the course, guys. Enjoy it. Come and say hi. Off to the start, Pence. Can't tell you how cold I feel right now. Hopefully, when we get running. That bin bag is a smart idea. I should have done the bin bag trick. It's so cold. I really should have worn my hoodie right up to the start line. Do it for the roast. <laughs> Love that, that's smart. Let's go, team runner. I was like, who's gonna start it? Oxford Hart, make some noise! I think it started. Here we go. And we're off. Hey! <laughs> hey! I think we're about five miles in. Nearly five miles. So far, feeling all right. But I think I may have started a bit too quick. So I'm slowly slowing down. Six miles. Is that halfway? I can't remember. Yay! Oh, the back pipe for Scotland. He's getting it going. That extra boost. Thank you. <laughs> Ended up in a park. I think I'm taking the scenic route. This has got to be the end, surely. Surely this is the end. Woo. I think like 13 k's in. Oh, 
Thank you very much, thank you. Oh my word. That was harder than I thought. Actually, I can't walk in a straight line. I'm like staggering all over the place, bumping into people, but it's done. I don't know my official time, I've not looked yet. But, um, oh my God, that was, that was something else. Tell you what, the crowds are just incredible. They definitely help get you through it, but my God. I am so glad that I've done that. I'm telling you now, I'm gonna have to camp out in the car, I think, tonight. There's no way I'm getting out of the car after driving back. Ooh. What an experience. Oh, we get a t-shirt. Yeah, thank you, cheers. Okay, now it is time to head back to Runner HQ. I have, I have a feeling I'm gonna be the last one to come back from Team Runner, but I finished. I didn't stop once, which is good. That was my goal, to get under two hours as well, which I think I've done. Look very pale. I hope I'm all right. Made it back. Yeah. Good. I think I, I think I did sub two. Yeah. yeah I, think hey, I, I, I was following the one hour forty guy, like the whole, like just behind the whole way around. What do you mean? I think I did then, sub two. <laughs> then, the two hour runners are still running. Then, uh, then I uh, then it started to, like <laughs> in the last few miles, I slipped like one four five. Oh but, my god. And then he went out of sight. So I, I think I just got in before. 250, uh, 150, I want to say. Oh my god, that's I don't insane. Know. Well oh done. But, so I'm yeah. pleased. And there we go. That is the end of the race. Everyone in high spirits. It's time for me to waddle my way back to the car. It's going to be an interesting drive home. Not a bad view walking back. Oh, what a day. What a day. I'm actually I'm just going to get changed in the car park. I don't care if anyone sees me. Right, medal, you can stay on. What do I need? Electrolytes car keys, general bits and bobs. Come on then, Joseph. Let's hit the dusty trail and get home. Phone plugged in and let's get back. In time for a roast dinner. Oh my God, the thought of a roast dinner. Also, I never thought I'd be that guy, but I think my nipple's chafing. Either that or I'm lactating. Something's happening with my nipple, my right nipple. Hmm. I'll assess that when I get back. I'm gonna call Diane, let her know that I'm on my way home. And then um, we're gonna head back and hopefully have a nice, chilled, relaxing rest of my Sunday. But I gotta say, I'm so happy I've done that. I'm so, so chuffed with myself. Oh, Diane, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. Hello. Oh my God, you're almost, you're almost camouflaged in this room. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello. Well done. Look at you and your medal. I got a medal. Whoa. I got a medal. How are you feeling? It. Yeah, I feel fine. Look at that. Surprisingly. For a medal. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Feel fine. Yeah. Yeah. Feel like I could do it all over again. Can you get I might have a little lay down. Yeah. <laughs> how, how was uh, How was last night? Yeah, good. I was watching and cheering. I lost. On. I literally lost my voice. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah, a bit, a bit hoarse. I'm a bit horsey because I screamed so loud at the end that I think I've like damaged a vocal. Yeah, larynx. Yeah. Did you get chafage? Yeah, my nipples chafed a little bit, but more so like after the race. Oh, I've got my official time. Oh yeah, what was your official time? Congratulations for completing the 2024 Oxford Half Marathon. Your time is one hour. Yeah. 48 minutes Whoa. and 45 seconds. That's a long run. Which I think that is, I, I mean, I was thinking if I can get sub two, that was my aim. What would that mean, under two? Yeah, I want to get under two hours. I didn't want to go over two hours for my first. And I did it in one hour 48, which so I'm good. so happy with. But I'm telling you now, it's the crowd. The crowd. They get you through it. And just like the, the experience of it all. It was so nice, such an Love experience. That. When are you going to do one? Oh, gosh. Do you think I you would? Do, I will do one in my life. I have just woken up from a nap. I've woken up to, is this Gossip Girl? Yeah. I thought so. Oh. My word. Oh, oh my God. I've never I know. seen a roast dinner that big, I don't think. Well, you've just run a half marathon. Oh my God. Imagine the size of it if, if I ran a full marathon. I know. The thing is, me running that is probably the same as what you've done this week in terms of steps. So we reserve this. I'm so excited. Oh. Mm. I don't know where to begin.
Where do I start? That's one of my favorite things in life. Even um... Wow. Do, 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 do. Let's get it cozy. Okay, let's build a fire, baby. To build your fire, you're going to need newspaper, some crumpled up newspaper, some fire lighters, some kindling. Ah! You're going to also need to build a perfect fire, better back posture than what I have. That's for sure. I'm surprised actually nobody in the comments has ever said that I'm building my fire wrong. Um, I thought I may have got a comment saying like, that is not how you start a fire. But luckily, I've not got that. Now cue everybody in the comments telling me that I'm making this fire wrong. I think that's why I've got you all the way over there. So you can't actually see what I'm doing. So you can't tell me that I'm going wrong. Do you think that looks good? What have I done? Whenever they take their socks off, they leave it, or their jumper. It's like wherever you take your clothes off, you literally just put it wherever it is. If you take it off here, you just go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a sim. You're like a sim, or just like eat food and just go place it on the floor and yeah, carry on walking. Exactly that. It's like that. I'm like a sim You're with, a like, with my sim. clothes. Did you run in these? Yeah. Why? You do not smell at all. Nope. Whoa. Are we going to put... Christmas so tree. So what I'm thinking is one here. It's too close to the... No, we can't. Why? It's simply too close to the log burner. No, and that's corner. Won't no, be no, no. We'd have to... If we're going to do it anywhere, okay, get, remove those lights and put it down there. In this corner just here. Yeah. One we have here. a very long, thin, skinny one. And then I also think one in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Like where that um, bottle wine thing rack is. is. One there. Mm. And then I'm also thinking one in mum and dad's room. Yeah, there's space for them in there. And one in... Andrew and Mel's. Yeah. Yeah. How many real versus how many fakes? We've really got a really good fake one. Well, real, we have Which to go get the... with mum and dad. Yeah. And I'm thinking when Andrew gets here... Because they've never had a real Christmas no. tree, have they? Oh my God, it's been so fun. I'm also thinking when Andrew gets here, we should go get a real one for their room. Yeah, okay. And decorate that. Yeah, that sounds good so that there's little activities. Yeah, I like the sound of that. No. You were saying about me leave my socks wherever I go. Yeah, I leave my hair. You leave clumps of hair wherever I you go. I, do, I genuinely do leave yeah. big clumps of big clumpies here. Oh my God. Yeah. That's not your real... No, that's not my real hair. We've been uh, having a real lazy afternoon, chilling on the sofa, watching Grease. This bit. <laughs> Come on then, let's have it. I reckon you're there. called through first. Tap. <gasps> oh my god, yes, Paul! Oh, I'm well chuffed for him. And now. Oh. You're getting it very wrong tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I couldn't be more wrong. Chris and Diane. Chris! Yes! Nice one. Come on! Yes! I think I'm more nervous for this than I was for doing the, <laughs> the run. I was fine with the run, it's this that I'm worried about. I'm about to do an ice bath to finish the day off. And um, it's cold, obviously, but I've been really struggling, like I mentioned before, with like, the, the feeling of it on my ankles. It's like daggers at the moment. Um, so I can't stand there long enough. So I've got a secret weapon. I realized when I was running this, I put an order in. What was it? I think yesterday I put the order in, yesterday morning, and it's arrived already and put it right in the right in time. Boom. Bosh, some uh, wetsuit shoes, socks, wetsuit socks, which I'm hoping will make it a bit more tolerable so I can get my legs fully in, but not feel like my ankles are killing me. I'm gonna take the plunge anyway. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a take two because uh, somebody didn't press record. So pretend that I am not wet from the waist down. In fact, don't show my blow my waist. Oh, it looks cold. Hopefully these, these, um, they look wet, don't they, on camera? <laughs> Hopefully they hold up and well, they- like dip-dyed shorts. Yeah, that's actually meant to be like that. That's not because I've already been in there. They're meant to, that's the, that's the design. On, so um, let's get, oh, don't know if I can do this. Let's get a minute on the clock. Minute's already on the clock. 
Okay. Start you down. Without further ado, three, two, one. Whew. Well done. Okay, and the last, when you've got 10 seconds left, can yeah. you do a full body dump? I will try. I don't want to get my microphone, my yeah, mate. I, want to I don't want to get my makeshift microphone work. You're going to do a. Um, These shoes are an absolute me. game changer. Ten. No, oh. no, you still got the last bit. You're just gonna do a dunk, all right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Come on, one big dunk. Come on, because no. you've got five seconds no. left. Five. No. Four. Come on, do a dunk for the camera. Come on. Go. Go on. I can't. Yes, you can. Don't be so weak. Yes. Proud of you. Get set. Hey. Mm. Can't tell you how good that felt. And That's it's all an absolute. Down to these. What the hell are they? <laughs> You're a little penguin. Good swivel? Very good swivel. See, I would not have been able to do that swivel if I hadn't gotten that cold. Like, my legs feel brand new. Brand I could do another one. Sign me up. Sign me up, runner. I'm ready. Ready for the next one. I feel like my body and mine wants to go to sleep, but I'm just, I'm still, I think, riding on adrenaline and like buzzing from earlier today. I kind of had a vague idea of what it's like, but actually doing it and being a part of it um, was something pretty special today. And I really, really enjoyed it. The crowd were all amazing. There was even people like holding trays of like sweets out and the people, all the people that were like, there was bands that like you saw earlier on with the bagpipes. There was also like DJ sets and there was, um, uh, like a choir band and it got to the point where like, I was running with my headphones in to begin with listening to music but at, like sort of the halfway point I decided to, like to turn my music off because I was actually getting more of a boost from hearing everyone like shout because I had my name on the front shouting like go on Joe you can do it. I just want to say as well a big thank you to Runner like all the team at Runner genuinely such a nice bunch they made me feel it's obviously it being my first race I did feel slightly sort of a bit awkward at the start and sort of not really understanding what happens. I was even, even asking like how to pin my bib to my t-shirt and things. Like I was like, a, I was a proper like noob to it all. But the runner team made me feel very, very comfortable. They all super, super lovely. So yeah, thank you runner. Massive shout out to you guys. And as I mentioned earlier, and I genuinely don't think I would have been able to do what I did um, if I hadn't have done that plan. And being able to sort of make that plan, it's like a, a, a moth flying around me. Being able to adjust and change my plan as well to make it sort of fit my time, um, helped me get there. There you go, she's told me that I've, I've completed my half marathon um, and now it's saying uh, I can do a post-race recovery plan. Um, Oh, and you get a message from Ben, Coach Ben. I genuinely feel like Ben has been, I met Ben today for the first time. I feel like, I feel like Ben's been with me for the last seven weeks in my pocket, like helping me get through it. So to actually meet him today as well was really, really cool. And Dom and the whole rest of the team. But I've got a message from Coach Ben. Joe, you did it. We just wanted to say a huge congratulations for reaching the end of your plan. You've shown that you can set your mind something and go out there and achieve it. We want to thank you for choosing to train with us and for being part of the community. And speaking of community, this app has helped me tremendously um, over the last seven weeks of my plan to get me to where I got to today. So if you are interested, I know a few of you in the comments previously to this have been asking what app I use to track my runs and all that kind of stuff. Um, runner. I will leave a link top line of the description here where you can go down and use my referral code uh, if you want to sign up to runner. Obviously it doesn't have to be a half marathon, it could be a marathon, it could be a 10k race, a 5k race, it could even be less than that. It could be like a personal goal to you. Um, it can tailor to anything you want and it will put a plan together for you and get you from a starting point of just being at home doing whatever to crossing that finish line and getting sore legs afterwards. But trust me, it's worth it. They've also got things like 5K improvement plans, 10K plans, half marathon plan, marathon plan, uh, running maintenance plan. There's also calendar syncing as well on this app. So if you're like me and you have like a week where it's quite free, but then a week where it's really intense 
busy with other things, you can adjust the days so it works around it and works it out for you of as to when you're free to fit the runs in. So it's, it's super efficient and clever. But I am going to try and get some sleep. So that is where I'm gonna to end today's vlog. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I did. And come and join me in the next race because I've definitely, once you get that medal around your neck, you wanna go again. Already I'm thinking about what the next one's gonna be and things like that. So, um, so yeah, come and join me on the next run. Anyway, if you enjoyed the vlog, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I will see you again tomorrow with another vlog. Good night.